もう嫌われたのねまあそんなに気にすることはないわコスモスフィアの中に記憶は存在しないからもう一度彼女のことを本気で考えて出直してきたらそうか、そうか、そうか、そうか、そうか、そうか、そうか、そうか、そうか、そうか、そうか、そうか、そうか、そうか、そうか、そうか、そうか、そうか、そうか、そうか、そうか、そうか、そうか、そうか、そうか、そうか、そうか、そうか、そうか、そうか、そうか、そうか、そうか、そうか、そうか、そうか、そうか、そうか、そうか、そうか、そうか、そうか、そうか、そうか、そうか、そうか、そうか、そうか、そうか、そうか、So that's about all we can do at the moment. Let's head for the end and double check our current objective. Even though the Sacred Army guys are right there. Yeah. Well, we haven't saved in a while, let's go ahead and do that. Now I will go I will go back into our cosmos here once I get some more DP back. That'll require some fighting, maybe some off maybe some uh, off screen grinding. I'll mostly be doing that just for DP. You need to worry about that more than experience. Wait a sec, we got a new shop. Let's head inside and see what what we got. Welcome. Ah, oh, my lady, it's you. What's up, my lady? It's unusual to see you here this time of day. Yeah, kinda. Oh, are you here to talk shop? There's a seat in the back. Not today. I just dropped in for fun. Oh, just window shopping. Luca, isn't it about time you made introductions? Oh, I'll introduce you. This is girl with Skycat. She's the waitress at this restaurant. Nice to meet you. Sea Cat. What an unusual name. Uh, that's another untranslatable pun that they just didn't bother with. Not Sea Cat. Sky Cat. It's a nickname since she's the face of the restaurant. Her real name is Lelina. But don't call me by that name here. If her name is Ferris Nyan Nyan, we're playing the wrong game. Oh, but it's different for you, my lady. So you call me Lenny and all you want, and I don't mind. The customers would get confused if I did that. So, are these all your friends? I'm like a childhood friend, or whatever you'd call it. What? Hey, my lady, get over here! He's not some gigolo, is he? A gigolo? As a friend, I can't really back you up if he is, okay? Uh, it's not like that. Look, I've told you about him a couple times before, haven't I? Okay, then maybe you'd be Crow? I've heard about you from a lady a few times. This is the first I've heard of Luca having a waitress colleague. I'm just a junior as a waitress and her bestest friend. Hey, why did you tell him about me? Um, uh, Maybe you were worried your boyfriend would get stolen? No! Come on, I could never steal my best friend's boyfriend. Like I said, it's not like that. Ah. <laughs> Sorry, my lady. But you're so cute, my lady. It's so fun to tease you. That's the kind of girl she is. Wouldn't that make her a good person? Oh, so glad to hear it. Well then, Crow, would you be my lover? Why that all of a sudden? I'm not even your friend. Doesn't look like you're my lady's boyfriend, after all. So it's okay, right, my lady? Uh, whatever, feel free. Uh, hey, hey, hey! <laughs> I'm just kidding. In any case, as long as you're here, please take your time. But this is actually another synthesis shop. Much like the weapon shop, we can buy stuff, we'll be able to create items later on. That's just kind of a little side, side introduction. But it also moves the plot along. By the way, Crow, what are we going to do now? Uh, we'll still have time before the day we promised to meet up with Captain Leglius. Until then, should we hide in Rakshak? Uh, you don't want to go to my house? It's in Mint Block, and since it's in the countryside, I don't think they'll be able to find you there. And Crow, it's been a long time since you last came, so I want to spend some time with you. Oh, oh that's not so important right now. <sighs> Fine. Do as you like. Huh? Lady Cloche? Whoa! It, is hiding yourselves not our highest priority? I'm tired of arguing about it. So it's fine. Let's go to her house. Really? I'm so happy! Thank you very much! I didn't do anything that deserves your gratitude. Then let's hurry! I want to see the town where Crow was born! You do realize we're not going there for fun? Yes! <laughs> How fun! Okay, let's go to Souffle Access Station. Luca, dear. Miss Lar, hello! 
said hi to you too, Donna. Hello! <laughs> You're gonna check as cute as always! <laughs> Thank you! Perfect timing. Give this to Raisha. It's a present. To Mom? Thank you. I'm sure this will make him very happy. It's okay. We're in her debt anyway. By the way, Luca, how many therapy sessions did you, did you have today? Uh, around six, but I already finished them. <laughs> so fast! As always, no. You're always pretty good at receiving new customers, Luca. Sorry, Luca. No, sorry, Luca, but who are they? Oh, oh sorry. Uh, well, Ms. Lar is the chief of the Therapist Association, and Nana is a colleague. Perhaps this boy is the one you're always talking about? Oh, yes, he is. <laughs> ah, isn't he handsome? I'm Nana. Pleased to meet you. Even though Luca and I are colleagues, my therapy sessions are completely different from hers. I focus more on adult stuff, you know? Wanna try it out? Uh, no! Uh, adult stuff! How shameful! Calm down! Calm down! <laughs> I'm just kidding. As good as I am, I wouldn't try to steal Luca's boyfriend doing that. Oh, yes. Since you're a knight, it would be best if you stayed away from the station for now. Huh? Or, huh? <laughs> These blue-armored sacred army guys have seized control of the station and the railway. I wonder what the heck could be happening. How uh, inopportune. Alright, thanks for letting us know. It's okay, just be careful. Okay. Hey, Miss Lar, doesn't the girl behind them look like the goddess maiden? You thought so too? Actually, that was making me feel a bit uneasy. But, uh, well, our maiden would never walk around a dirty town like this. Seriously! <laughs> She's the type to ignore places like this. It can't be helped. We'll have to walk. Did you say walk? Uh, yes, but it should be okay. It's not very far from here. I walk home whenever I don't have money for the train. Oh, then how many minutes would you say we have to walk? Uh, around four hours! Did you say four hours? Uh, I'm sorry, it's unreasonable for Lady Closure to walk so far, right? <sighs> No, it is not a problem. Come, let us hurry. Souffle Axis has been added to the town map. We'll just head on, on through. For our country, there are battles in here, so we'll get to see Luca in action. It's reaction. Is there Berserk IPD up ahead? <laughs> Emergency! Emergency! A strong IPD positive reaction has been detected in the area near the Souffle Axis. Every night in the surrounding area must report to the site and once and perform containment duty. I repeat, a strong IPD positive reaction has been detected in the area near the Souffle Axis. I was right. Our highest priority right now is a very close shape, but... It is of no consequence. As a Grand Bell Knight, IPD convenient is an extremely important duty for you. If you were to abandon this, it would be an action akin to treason, so do not relinquish your duties. Understood. We shall capture it once, then head for Midmore. Kokona, I'll be counting on you. Okay! You never get lucky with the jobs, huh? huh? So we can now use the IPD containment system. It's one of the most common jobs to give to Crow and the other Grand Bell Knights. The metaphors are raven tails infected with the IPD disease. They're always in danger of losing control and unwilling attacking everything in sight. Therefore, the Grand Bell take action to subjugate these IPDs and contain them. Ah, these actions are called IPD containment. As you're traveling, you might see an IPD warning appear at the radar on the top right of the screen. When the radar shows us, it means an IPD is nearby. If you get closer to the Raven Tail, then the display will change in this fashion. The emergency situation means the IPD is right next to where you are on the map. Try searching throughout the dungeon until this mark appears on your radar. Also, you can select, press the select button while exploring to obtain more information about IPDs from the Grand Bell HQ. This will give you information about IPDs that have been detected in your current location or elsewhere. You can learn about many IPDs can be found in your current location, as well as locations where other IPDs have been spotted. Try to make good use of these functions, because this tutorial is about to end. So let's take a quick look at the select button. So, overall info, no new settings for now, but in the region... Searching, so we've got two IPDs in here. And yes, there are battles in here, so let's, let's fight a couple. She's close, just right up ahead. Once we're ready, we'll carry out our mission, be careful! When the radar looks like this, it means an IPD is right next to you on the map. In other words, there's an IPD right ahead, so please continue to prepare yourself for one. You'll have to resort to force to contain the IPD, which means you must win a battle. The information on the IPD will be displayed before you fight, so make sure you pay attention to it. The subjugation for us, blah, 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 blah. yeah, this is another tutorial. And we've got too far. But yeah, IPDs will show up throughout the game at various levels. Some are much easier than others, just kind of just have to grind to... Uh, be able to take them on at different points. 
Now let's go ahead and loot the place first. So you can choose which Raven's Hail sings they will both combine towards. Let's go ahead and check out Brave Thunder. And nice finish. That yellow number indicated it was lightning damage. Nice level up, S rank, and the question is, do th I don't remember if the Raven Tails gain normal experience like the rest or not. I mean, Close has been enough battles to level up normally. Yep. There's our IPD Crisis. Good for data, so... Our first IPD battle, IPD Infection Level 1. Yeah, you're about even. Opponent is a Berserk, so always keep the worst case scenario in mind. Combat Specialist Raven Tail. She doesn't seem to have any special features, though. Fighting with her full strength is the best way. Fight? Yeah, let's go ahead and do so. And get some very awesome battles. Yeah, let's go ahead and have Luca sing. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. That major song could have done damage if we didn't guard against it better, but... Yep, cleared that out. Alright, good job. Let me register the containment info. I register the data, we'll send our retrieval team, so please manage to hand over. And there's not much else we can do for now, but the IPDs will come into play again later on. The next battle will just have the Raven Tails heal, and we'll be fine from there. Now we'll run into the other one sooner or later. Want to do a quick double back. Yeah, one heal is usually enough to be fine at the start of a battle. And of course, having in two Raven Tails in the party allows you to use up another... save some more space for healing later. No, we didn't even need to unleash the spell. Not 50... Four DP. Yeah, we're al already almost back to where we were with Cloche when we started off, so next time we go to the dive shop, we'll... Try uh, that other. Try that dive again. So, another one. Hiori, another level 1 infection. Again, this is the tutorial. But multiple enemies, as it suggested, I kind of uh, skipped over that. Just take them out one at a time. <laughs> Yeah, you do have to be careful because the screen will sometimes shake to throw you off. And down they go. Yeah, increasing the burst gauge and getting some longer harmonics using the up attacks, that's usually a quick way of doing so. Uh, increasing the burst gauge with, with left attacks does that. So we caught that other one. Oh, head for a general store. Oh, couldn't hurt to have some more supplies. We go in. Just another battle. Let's, let's pick the default. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, so there's early battles, two rounds of building up from song is usually enough to take out the enemies. And we're getting plenty of experience for our, our vanguards. But, uh, yeah, Ravetail still aren't getting experience, so they definitely level up so in another manner. And thankfully, trains will not appear on this screen, so we don't get run out. And notice this little glowing spot. Yep, camera station talking about with cloche. Other than fulfilling conditions in battle, you can find them scattered throughout the world. Uh, BD slip, that looks like this probably a piece of armor or an accessory, double check. Indeed it is, so defense plus 13. Uh, Luca, you have 36. Okay, my coach already has one equipped. Even better. Yeah, you may notice that little icon next to the item name shows what type it is. Let's go ahead and top off. Let's, and check out that conversation topic. Thanks a lot for helping me with the dive with Lady Cloche. You really saved me. It's nothing! If there's anything that I can do to help you, I'll be glad to do it. Still, the menu is amazing. I've never seen anyone getting rejected so badly. Is that so? It was my first time, so I thought it was like that inside anyone's mind, and the divers really have it roughed. But that was an exception? Yep! If you like, wanna try it? Huh? Looking inside my mind. Uh, why do you ask that all of a sudden? Because, now that I think about it, we've never done a dive. So far we never traveled or fought together, so I thought it was a very pointless to dive. But now if we have a reason to do it, if we could do... If we do, I could do stronger songs and help you more. I see, but... But what? Uh, we'll be okay. I mean, it won't affect your job or anything. It'll be okay. The word I use for therapy is different from my true soul space, so it won't affect anything. Oh, okay then. Maybe it'll be up to your dive ability? Oh, wait a minute. I'm just kidding. There really isn't a problem, so don't worry. And besides, I want you to dive into me too. That's why I said it anyway. Luca. <laughs> that was very embarrassing. Uh, uh, when we go to a dive shop next time, we'll definitely do it. Uh, sure, if you don't mind me. <laughs> I'm so glad! Yep, we can now dive into Luca. We will take care of that next time in a dive shop as well. Full HP restored, and let's... Yeah, unfortunately... E Heroine topics will now occur. Heroine topics are conversation between two of the heroines. He's going to turn during Stall, but why are you staying in an inn? These to topics will have an important role in deepening the bonds between the heroines. Please enjoy these dialogues in the same way as the normal talk topics as continuing throughout the game. So let's go ahead and speak. Let's, let's speak with Cloche first. Excuse me, Lady Cloche. Oh, I'm not going to say that every time. Oh, cr I'm not going to say that every time, too, unless it changes. Are you truly her fiancé? Excuse me? What do you mean? I mean, Luca, didn't she call you her fiancé? Oh, that, to be honest, I don't entirely understand it either. Though, I think I'll start when Luca talked about me. I would assume that the information was dramatized at some point and ended up as that. Hmm. Uh, what is it? You seem pleased. Uh, what? No, no, not especially. Aren't you? Uh, I don't care either way, but just make sure you aren't so elated that you neglect your duties. It seems that you were rejected by me in my Cosmosphere. You wouldn't have taken advantage of me in, of being the Cosmosphere to do something deviant to me, would you? I have quite a few things to say I would like to say about that myself. Oh, you wanted to say something? Go right ahead, then. I was cut down without warning the instant I dived. What? You cut me down the instant I found you after diving. That abruptly? He mentioned the record for the shortest dive ever, didn't he? It wasn't even time to talk. You called me a trespasser and cut me down that warning. It was like dealing with an uncaring villain bent on testing a newly forged sword blade on me. Uh, well... You're a knight, so you can fought back, or... You mean to turn my blade on you, Lady Cloche? Isn't that the last thing I should do? Uh, well, uh... Do something if you're truly a knight. What kind of knight if, if are you if you can't pin down a single maiden? Please acknowledge the abnormality of a situation in which the maiden slashes in a knight. <laughs> I like that. What would you consider a distance for which would be too far to walk? Now, let me see. I didn't think it would take longer than half an hour, I think. Indeed. Didn't Luca say a distance that would take four hours to walk was not especially far? I honestly considered that when my, perhaps my concept of distance was unusual compared to that of other people. I see. I actually had the same thought for a minute, though. She said she sometimes walks that distance to go home. In contrast to her appearance, she is rather tough. She wasn't like that before. 
Those are some nice level 1 boosts. Usually after completing a level, you'll start to get ones for the next level. That night, when everyone was asleep... Thank you, God, for the narration. Hey, Cloche, why don't we talk about something? I don't mind, as long as there's a topic. She doesn't even have pajamas. In any case, Crow is certainly troubling me. Huh? How so? Why, he can't even perform a confident dive on his own. If you hadn't been there, he might have never made a successful dive into me. And how can he be so indifferent as to be transferred by my cosmos for yourself and come right back out? Honestly, I'm amazed he can function as a knight like that. Eh. But I am truly thankful for your cooperation, Luca. Then give me back... Then give me back Crow's first time diving! Huh? Did you say something? No, it's nothing. So, yep, these... These two have their own topics that will... Uh, burst of synchronicity, which will again come in handy later. Let's go ahead and talk to Luca. Luca, I'm coming in! There's a huge tent to have different rooms like, Hey Crow, what's up? We got plenty of plenty of topics with her. You get a lot of customers in dive therapy? Yeah, a ton! But it's really bad, I end up working the whole day. You're that busy? Sounds like it's worse than I thought. Yeah, it's not so bad. No, not just for you. I mean, how they have to work all day at the dive shop, too. Come to think of it, you're right! Yeah, I bet the Rackshack Dive Shop gets more reliable profits than other places. Crawl, what's the dive shop you want to talk about? By the way, how come they say I'm your fiancé? Uh, that's what I'd like to know! And how did it get misunderstood like that? Did you say something weird, maybe? Of course not! I just talked about you normally. I said you're a boy I used to live with. Well, I guess that much is normal enough. And, uh... Uh... What's wrong with... There was something. No, not a thing! Oh, you worry too much. I just know you're hiding something. Hey, what was it like inside Lady Cloche? Uh, I'm not supposed to say, am I? Well, yeah, but... I mean... Crow, that was your first time diving, right? Your first diving experience was taken by Lady Cloche. Actually, it's almost weird that I'd never done a dive until now. But I had to feel honored that it was Lady Cloche. Eh, I wanted to be the one. I've never done one th once done a dive except for therapy, either. I was saving myself for you. Yeah, your first time was taken right before my eyes. Well, it was... Uh, on top of that, my dive was all business up with your dive. I feel kind of upset. Uh, I'm sorry. But my dive with Lady Cloche was basically all business, too. Yeah, you're right. I understand. That girl at the restaurant, Sea Cat. She's really peculiar, isn't she? It's Sky Cat, not Sea Cat. Sky Cat? Oh, okay, then Sky Cat. She's really peculiar, isn't she? I guess she's always like that when I'm there. I think the restaurant's pretty much bound to get hectic as long as I'm with her. There's no way to relax like that. Is that okay for a restaurant? Uh, well, she's normal enough to all the customers other than me. She's pretty well known for a popular job for the place, too. It's no big deal, right? What are we supposed to do, though? And one more. Hey, Crow, are you avoiding talking to me? That's nonsense! What's wrong asking that all of a sudden? I mean, we're finally together, but you hardly talk to me. I get that you have things you need to do, so you can't help it. But now that we're together, I'd like to talk a little more. You're right, we haven't been able to see each other for years, after all. I'll ask you more often from now on, so let's talk about this and that. Right! I'm kind of looking forward to it. So, plenty of conversations for Luca, including a level 2 one. Bum bada bum! HP has been restored, and that's a good stopping point for now. So, now uh, with that taken care of, I will see you guys for the next re recording session. Enjoy watching this on YouTube, and hopefully you're having fun, because this is admittedly a little bit lonely, but at the same time, I'm glad that this project is finally off the ground. You guys take care, I'll see you next time.